Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain wave equation of electromagnetic waves in free space. To derive wave equation of electromagnetic waves, we need to use Maxwell's equations. So before you see this video, I request you to go through my video based on Maxwell's equation in which I have explained four Maxwell's equations in integral form and in point form. Using those four equations, we can easily derive wave equation of electromagnetic waves. So let us start derivation of wave equation. To derive wave equation, first of all, we will be using Faraday's law in point form. Let me explain how. As per Faraday's law in point form, we have del cross E that is equals to minus of del B by del D means rate of change of magnetic field generates electric field as well as rate of change of electric field generates magnetic field right now with this equation i will take curl on both of the sides if you take curl on both of the sides then on this side we will be having del cross del cross e that is equals to on this side we have minus of del by del t of del cross b now let us elaborate this term first see with this term we have curl two times if you want to simplify this then that is del of del dot e minus del square e that is equals to this term that is minus of del by del t of del cross b now here if you observe this term carefully then here we have del dot e and del dot e that we have with gauss's law of electric field let me explain how here we will be taking gauss's law of electric field in point form so if you take gauss's law of electric field in point form then that states that del dot d that is equals to rho v and if you want this divergence in form of electric field then that is del dot e that is equals to rho v by epsilon naught right now here see we are talking about em wave in free space so with free space one should know volume charge is zero so in free space we have zero volume charge as if we have volume charge that is zero then one can say del dot e that is equals to zero so let us say this is equation one and this is equation two so let us substitute two into one so now we have simplified equation which is equation one in which this much term that is zero so here we have minus of del square e is equals to minus of del by del t of del cross b where this negative sign that is getting cancelled and we will be having del square e that is equals to del by del t of del cross b right so this is bit simplified equation now we will be converting this magnetic field in terms of electric field using ampere circuit law so ampere circuit law that i have explained in my earlier videos so as per point form in time varying field with ampere circuit law we can simplify this equation so as per ampere circuit law for time varying field in point form we have del cross h that is equals to jc means conduction current charge density plus del d by del d right and for free space one should know conduction current charge density for free space that is zero right so jc is zero for free space as jc is zero if i say this is equation three then this equation three that is getting modified to del cross h that is equals to del d by del t right now see we wanted to have del cross b and here we have del cross h if you want to convert del cross h into del cross b then 
on this side we need to multiply mu zero so if i write del cross b over here then here i need to multiply mu zero right and over here we have del dot d and we need to have this form in form of electric field so instead of d we can write epsilon naught e so if i take epsilon naught over here then here we will be having del e by del d right now let us say this is equation a right and let us say this is equation 4 so what we will be doing is we will be substituting equation 4 into equation a so if you place equation 4 in equation a then on this side we will be having del square e and on other side we have del by del t of del cross b where del cross b is mu 0 epsilon 0 so mu 0 epsilon 0 that will come out and we will be having double differentiation of del square e by del t square right so over this side we have mu 0 epsilon 0 del square e by del t square right that is how we can simplify this equation now further simplification of this equation that can be done that we can do based on velocity of em wave in free space one should know for free space velocity of em wave that is c and that is 1 divided by square root of epsilon naught mu naught right so based on that we can place 1 by c square instead of mu 0 epsilon 0 so here now we have modified equation that is del square e that is equals to 1 by c square into del square e by del t square so this is one form of wave equation let us say this is equation a so equation a that is one form of wave equation right and we can also have another form in which see 1 by c square and del square by del t square that multiplication that is considered as a propagation constant so here you can also write this equation like del square e is equals to gamma square e where this gamma that is propagation constant right and this equation a and equation b those are wave equation so this is how we can identify wave equation so always remember see as and when you want to derive wave equation right at that time we will be using maxwell's equation you see here we are using point form of faraday's law that is maxwell's equation in form of point form after that here we are using gauss's law for electric field in point form that is also maxwell's equation where rho v is zero for free space after that here also we are using ampere circuit law for time varying field in point form that is also maxwell's equation where jc is zero for free space and after substitution of data we come to conclude that wave equation is del square e is equals to gamma square e where gamma is propagation constant right so maxwell's equations are very essential to derive wave equation so one should know what are maxwell's equation for that you need to go through my video based on maxwell's equation where i have explained integral and point form of maxwell's equation still if any confusion is there just post that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video